Air pollution. Air is a mixture of gases, 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.9% argon, 0.03% carbon dioxide, and the remainder is other gases. Air pollutants can be classified as primary or secondary. Primary pollutants are emitted directly into the atmosphere. Secondary pollutants are produced when primary pollutants undergo chemical change in the atmosphere. Carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is toxic to humans, affecting oxygen uptake as it binds to hemoglobin in the blood. Anthropogenic sources of carbon monoxide include incomplete combustion of fossil fuels and forest fires where there is a limited supply of oxygen. So from the incomplete combustion of coal, we have carbon reacts with oxygen to give you carbon monoxide and we can have incomplete combustion of alkanes. In this case, there's methane CH4, and we produce carbon monoxide. Nitrogen oxides. Nitrogen oxides such as nitrogen monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, and dinitrogen oxide are formed from natural and anthropogenic sources. They react with hydrocarbons to form smog, and also form nitric acid, so contribute to acid rain. Nitrogen dioxide causes irritation of the eyes and nose, as well as breathing and respiratory problems. In car engines, nitrogen gas, N2, reacts with oxygen under high temperatures of the car engine to give you nitrogen monoxide. In the production of photochemical smog, which can occur in the presence of lightning, we have nitrogen reacting with oxygen to give you nitrogen monoxide. Oxides of sulfur. The two oxides of sulfur are SO2, sulfur dioxide, and SO3, sulfur trioxide. Natural sources of sulfur dioxide include volcanoes and rotting vegetables. In this equation, we have sulfur dioxide being produced from the oxidation of hydrogen sulfide gas. Anthropogenic sources of sulfur oxides include burning coal that contains sulfur. So here we have sulfur plus oxygen to give you sulfur dioxide. Sulfur trioxide is a secondary pollutant formed in the atmosphere by the reaction between the primary pollutant sulfur dioxide and oxygen. Sulfur dioxide can dissolve in the water to form sulfuric acid. So here's the equation of sulfur dioxide reacting with oxygen to give you sulfur trioxide, which is a secondary pollutant. And here we have sulfur trioxide dissolving in water to make sulfuric acid, which contributes to acid rain. Particulates. Particulates are solid particles of carbon or dust or liquids of mist or fog suspended in the air. Polar particulates are attracted to water droplets and form aerosols. Particulates enter the body during breathing and affect the respiratory system, causing lung diseases such as emphysema, bronchitis and cancer. They can also act as catalysts in the production of secondary pollutants. And here are some sources of particulates. Natural sources include dust from the breakup of solid matter, sulfur from volcanic eruptions, pollen, bacterial and fungal spores. Anthropogenic sources include soot from incomplete combustion, arsenic from insecticides and asbestos from the construction industry. Volatile organic compounds. Organic air pollutants such as chloroethane and benzene can lead to cancer. Hydrocarbons can form secondary pollutants and photochemical smog. Methane is released in large amounts by natural sources. It is produced by bacterial anaerobic decomposition of organic matter. Anthropogenic sources include unburned petroleum products such as gasoline. So here's a summary. We have the pollutant, the anthropogenic source and the natural source, starting with carbon monoxide, incomplete combustion of fossil fuels, natural source is anaerobic decomposition of organic matter, nitrogen oxides, high temperatures in car engines, natural source is electrical storms or lightning, sulfur dioxide, 
combustion of coal containing sulfur. Natural source is produced from oxidation of hydrogen sulfide gas, particulates, soot from incomplete combustion, and the natural sources include volcanoes, forest fires, and pollen. And finally, volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. The anthropogenic source is unburned petroleum products such as gasoline. Natural sources include methane from bacterial decomposition of organic matter and hydrocarbons called terpenes from plants.